The overall goal of this procedure is to form polyethylene glycol microgels using a photopolymerized precipitation reaction to use as drug delivery vehicles and tissue engineering scaffolds. This is accomplished by first preparing the reagents including a photoinitiator, buffers, triethanolamine, and PEG diacrylate solution and warming them to 37 degrees Celsius. The second step is to place the reagents into a microcentrifuge tube and vortex them while maintaining a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. Next, sodium sulfate is mixed in and the solution is placed under UV light to crosslink for 30 seconds. Following crosslinking, a cloudy layer on top of the solution will form which contains the microgels. The final step is to add PBS to the mixture and centrifuge to form a pellet. Ultimately, microscopy and dynamic light scattering are used to measure the size of the microgels and the density is measured using a dextrin density gradient. Additionally, the amount of swelling is calculated by measuring the wet and dry weights of the microgels. The main advantage of this technique over the other methods such as emulsion, suspension, and dispersion techniques is that microgels formed by precipitation reaction have a low polydispersity index without the use of organic solvents or stabilizers. The mild conditions of the precipitation reaction, customizable properties of the microgels, and low viscosity for in injections makes them suitable for in vivo applications. This method can help answer key questions in the tissue engineering and regenerative medicine field, such as the fabrication of scaffolds with both uniform size and low polydispersity index. The implications of this technique can extend towards drug delivery therapy um, because the growth factors in drugs can be...